hello welcome to this video in this video i will show how to find the last used data cell in vba macros identification of last data cell plays vital role while defining the dynamic range in excel worksheet here we can find the classification flow first one is last row in a column and second one is last column in a row. To find the last row in a column, we can use two different directions. First one is from top to bottom and second one is from bottom to top. Coming to last column in a row also, we can retrieve in two different directions. First one is from left to right, second one is from right to left. Here I have some data in column A. Here I have data up to 13th row. To find the last user cell, use control plus down arrow. Then application moves to 13th row. Now let us check programmatically. Click on developer tab. Click on visual basic. Now I am inserting a new module. Here I am writing the code. So this is the code that I am using here. First I define a variable which is named as r and data type is integer r equivalent to range a1 so I have data from a1 cell hence I mentioned here as a1 range a1 dot and and excel down so i want to find the last row from top to bottom hence i am using the direction as excel down at the end i mentioned as dot row it returns the row number thereafter i am mentioning the output on message box hence i mentioned message box r press f8 to start the debugging Here application returned last user cell equivalent to 13. Now let us see how to retrieve the last user cell from bottom to top. For this instance, I am using the data which exists in column B. Here I have some data in. So let me find the last row. Control plus down arrow. Here application returns as 8, but I have data up to 17th row. So in this cases, we have to find the data from bottom to top direction. Let me retrieve programmatically. To find the last row, first I declared a variable dim r as integer r equivalent to range b. Here I mentioned b as I want to find the last row in column b, which is concatenated with rows dot count. Thereafter, here I used Excel up direction 
at the end I mentioned as dot row. Thereafter, here I am mentioning the output on message box. Now I am debugging the code. Here application return output as 17. Now let us see how to find the last column from left to right direction. For this purpose, I am using second row. Control plus right arrow. Here application move to column I. So this is the last column for the second row. In column I, I don't have data, but I have data in column J. In this scenario, we have to find the last column. using right to left direction. Now let me retrieve the same output through programmatically. So this is the code to retrieve the output from the left to right direction. Press F8 to start the debugging. First I declared a variable which is named as C and data type is integer. C equivalent to range a2 means i want to extract the last column in second row hence i mentioned a2 thereafter here i am using excel to right direction at the end i mentioned the column here application returned the output on message box as 9 means I have data up to 9th column in second row. Click on OK. Now let us see how to retrieve the output through right to left direction. Press F8. Here I mentioned Excel to left. Here application returned output as 10 means I have data up to column J. Click on OK. So in this way we can retrieve the last data cell in four different directions.